After the whistle, I'm Caressa Stinchcomb. It's been nearly 40 years since Minot High's girls tennis team has gotten a state title for the individual doubles. State champions Sophia Eggy and Eden Olsen told me all about the whirlwind weekend. We're pretty good friends and we knew that we'd have a really good shot at, in the postseason and we could do well together. Eden Olsen and Sophia Eggy have been playing doubles together for only a year. They put in the time, they're both extremely athletic and they love the game um, and you can just see that they complement each other so well when they play together. One's right-handed, one's left-handed. Um, it's, it's just a tough doubles combination um, and teams found that out throughout the year. They've been to state before during their eighth grade and freshman year, but this time things were different. The semifinal match on on Saturday morning was probably our most nerve-wracking ones we thought about it and they came out and played probably the best match of the year uh, we just kind of sat back as the coaches and thought wow we don't really have to do anything right now um, and, and then the championship match was just kind of the opposite you, you could just see the nerves you could see the jitters um, but once they were able to get that first set I think it was 6-4 I guess a very good man-down team um, you, you could just kind of see the, the pressure go off their shoulders a little bit and they came back and played and they played some very good tennis going into Grand Forks their um, facility has viewing on the top so they're right above you when you're playing basically and it was just a lot I mean being the last match on because um, the singles final ended before ours mm -hmm. and having everybody there watching you and just having a lot of cheering and a lot of there was a lot of support but then there was also like obviously people cheering for um, our competition and it was just it was a lot of yelling and a lot of I don't know a lot of nerves and it was it was difficult to play in mm -hmm. and Definitely playing in a state title match, there was a lot of just tension and stress, and we had to definitely push through that in order to yeah. play how we wanted to end with a win. We were up 40-30, and I was having that last point, and basically, like, I just had a, like, just cross-court rally with the girl that served, and I just, we just kept doing that until she missed basically like it wasn't anything super special like it was just a normal point that we won and she just ended up hitting it out and that got us this <laughs> state championship yeah few things are better than winning a state title but winning one for the school after 36 years is a little sweeter. I looked about a week and a half before the state tournament to kind of see where it had been, and I had no idea it was going to be 1985. Uh, mine, we've been fortunate to have a lot of good tennis players come through here over the years. So the coach and I talked about it. We knew about that. We did not mention to the girls at all. They, they, they might have known. They're, they're very intelligent people. Um, but finally, when they won it, we, we, we told them, and uh, you could just see the joy on their face that uh, they had accomplished something they'd wanted to do for a long time. As the girls head into their senior year, they share what they hope to accomplish during their final season. I think everyone's expecting another title. But yes. <laughs> so we just got to continue to work hard in the off season and just put in the work to accomplish that again. Eden and Sophia say they aren't sure if they'll play together next season. They say they're open to competing in whatever will give them the best chance at winning another title, whether it be singles or doubles.